Hello, my name is Roosevelt McCullough, and I'm the database administrator for CBT College. And my job here is to manage the system information system and the CRM for CBT College. And I'm here to give you a couple tips on the hurricane preparedness. Here's a hurricane fact. Since 1851, Florida has had 120 hurricanes. And out of that 120, 37 have been major hurricanes. That's by far the most out of any state. With eight hurricanes forecasted for 2021, it's certainly possible that one or more of those hurricanes will find its way back to the Sunshine State. And considering that statistic, we have to be proactive when it comes to damage prevention to our IT infrastructure and our data. The question is, what can one do to protect their data and or minimize the damage to the IT infrastructure so that business can resume as soon as possible? That's after the hurricane has passed and it is safe to go back to your location. Here's a basic list for some of the measurements you could take in order to protect your data and your equipment. The first step is to be informed about the hurricane and the proximity of the hurricane so that you have enough time to prepare and protect your equipment. Most importantly, back up your data. Remember that any equipment that can be replaced, just replace it, but your data cannot. Once you lose your data, chances are you won't be able to recover it. It is also recommended to back up your data in an external device and keep it in a safe location, mostly off-site in another location. And another option would be to back it up to a cloud service. Tip number three, get in your home or business. We recommend disconnecting all electronic devices, such as computers, servers, printers, scanners, TVs, game consoles, network devices, and or any other device that is connected to a power source. Unless you have critical equipment that has to remain on for operations and can't be shut down, then you leave those. Tip number four, Florida has so many flood zone areas. To prevent damages caused by flooded floors, all equipment near to the floor, if possible, should be picked up and moved to a more elevated location. And make sure to protect all windows with plywood or shutters. We also recommend to cover, if not all, the most important equipment with big plastic bags or any item that will prevent water damage in case roof damage has occurred. After the hurricane has passed and when it is safe to visit your location, by following these simple steps, you will have a much successful return to your normal business hours. This is Roosevelt McCullough bringing you hurricane preparedness tips brought to you by CBT College. Thank you.